Hey Geminis, and welcome to this video detailing some of the energies around you during the time of this incredible origami signature configuration. If you don't know what origami signature is yet, please check the description box below. I have a whole video detailing what that is and what it means. It's basically an incredible configuration that consists of a Virgo stellium, um, opposite Neptune and Pisces, and square Jupiter and Sagittarius, and it creates a configuration that looks like origami, and it's an immutable sign. So this deals a lot with the changes in our lives and deals a lot with um, who we are, who we want to be, um, what we're creating, and how that's related to our pain, and how that's related to our prosperity and happiness, and you know, just unfolding all of that and seeing the beauty that remains. What does it mean for Gemini, though? It means that you are um, making a change, basically. You are making a move. I, I sense a lot of you to be moving home, a lot of you to be uh, going overseas, a lot of you to be um, taking on the baggage of other people, perhaps, to um, taking on something. So you are absorbing something. This is an absorbing time for Gemini. Um, a very communicative time for you, too. I feel you to be communicating what wasn't right, what was right, so I don't sense any of you as a mutable sign, so the mutable signs are the most affected by this transit, that's you, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, um, you are not going to stay still in something that's unhappy. So Gemini doesn't settle with this transit, and I love it, okay? Uh, I'm feeling Six of Swords energy, okay, for you. That means a big change, not settling, not sitting in you know, painful comfort, you know, oh my gosh, this house is secure, but it's so traumatic, it's so damaging, but the security of it makes it worth it. I'm paying with my emotions no more. Gemini is not paying with their emotions anymore. Um, you are finding more emotional happiness, and throughout the entire month of September, a lot of what Gemini's energetic path deals with is um, moving into less emotional turbulence, okay? Moving into smoother waters, moving into um, a place where you're not just taking on the baggage of others. I think in the beginning of this transit, so around September 3rd or 4th, you might feel that people are really unloading on you, really forcing you to become their sponge, making you absorb their problems so they don't have to deal with it. And I sense you not to settle for that. And I think that that's really beautiful. I think that you are encouraged to make a change, to move, to, um, you know, go to an environment where you're not just other people's emotional sponge. Um, again, the origami signature for the mutable signs especially are, it's really creating a huge change. It's that simple. It's a huge transformation. These aren't the little changes. These aren't the little, the small nitpicky things. Um, those are implicated, but this, this uh, mixture of energy, when you get the Virgo stellium, which is about the little things, Jupiter and Sagittarius, which is about the huge things, and, and the Neptune and Pisces, which is about the, the spiritually huge things. Uh, this is a big change, a big expansion that we are undertaking. And I really think that Gemini is at the forefront of, you know, sort of that pioneering cardinal energy. Even though you're a mutable sign, I feel you to be very ahead of the game, you know, because the mutable signs um, are like hybrid of cardinal and fixed. So the cardinal signs are all about forward, moving, pioneering, being the leader, being the commander, being in charge of everything. And the fixed signs are all about organizing and filling in the gaps and about um, making perfection within the command. Um, and then mutable signs can sway either way. They can adapt to either role. So you are mutable, and I feel you to be adapting toward the commandeering cardinal energy. So you are in charge of something here, Gemini. You're in charge of your fate. You're in charge of your destiny. Your lifeline is in your hands. So keep that in mind as you're moving through the month. You could do anything with that. Okay, freedom, liberation, options. They're all here for you, um, as the mutable signs tend to get when Jupiter is in Sagittarius. Your your lifeline is in your hands here. Understand that as you move through the month of September, this these aren't decisions that have no significance. These are the decisions that really determine things. So don't let that discourage you, but let that empower you into knowing that you are working with your immediate and long-term future here. Anyway, Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and conclude that for you here for the origami signature. It's just really about accepting your own power and accepting your own um, inevitability of change here. You know, not the worst thing for Gemini in September with the origami signature is to settle for something very difficult and painful because it's the easiest thing to do, not what we want. It's a changing month where you take your destiny by 
by the horns, okay? Um, anyway, Gemini, thank you so much for listening to this quick and versatile reading about the origami signature. If you would like to see your entire September 2019 general reading tarot spread with a card for each week, you can click the center of your screen now to jump over to Patreon and find those. They are exclusively there. Um, also, check the description box below. I have guided meditations. I have... Um, natal astrology reports. I have private readings, um, all of those things for you guys to uh, check out and a new website, um, new articles. It's all there. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. We'll talk soon. Bye.